Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of Dear Xander Manor, where you ask the questions and I'm going to answer them. But this week is a special edition, so every question is from a special guest. Our special guest this week is the entire staff of Vital Voice Magazine. Now, some of you may know, I am from St. Louis. Yes, I reside in Chicago and have for many, many, well, not too many years. <laughs> but I'm originally from St. Louis. Now, I went down to St. Louis recently to perform in a benefit for the LGBT Community Center. And the people that brought me down there was Vital Voice Magazine. Here's some info on how important Vital Voice Magazine is to the St. Louis, its metropolitan area, Missouri, Southern Illinois. Check these statistics out. Et je retourne à la vie d'où je viens. Oh, were you done looking at their statistics? I'm sorry, I was just catching up on their latest issue. <laughs> Why the voice see? Oh, and look, it's an advertisement for the reason why I was there, the benefit. Queens in Space! Now, before I went down to St. Louis, I did an interview with Denny, a staff member of Vital Voice, which you can find online at Vital Voice's website. You can read the whole interview. But when I went down there, um, the staff seemed to have a lot more questions for me. Let's get to the questions. Let me introduce you to the staff of Vital Voice magazine. Hi, Xander. I was wondering, what famous artists inspire you? I heard that you like painting. Denny, you're right. I am a painter. I am an artist. And there are a lot of artists that have inspired me. Um, I have to tell you, I love living in Chicago because Hop, Skip, and Jump Away is the art institute where some of the most famous paintings and artists in the world are being presented. Georgia O'Keeffe is there. Georgia O'Keeffe is one of my favorite artists. She is an inspiration to me. I just love her work to death. I, I just love her stuff. It's so natural, especially the big flowers. I just, I love them. And another one of my favorite artists, well, he's not actually a favorite artist, but one of his paintings is one of my favorite paintings of all time. And I'm very lucky that here in the Art Institute, it hangs. And every time people come in, I love to take them to go see this painting. The artist is Pablo Picasso, and the painting is called The Old Guitarist. The reason I love this painting so much is, well, I have two reasons. One, it's done in blues, and my favorite color to paint in is blue. But this particular painting, if you look on, on the internet, you're really not going to see it, but if you look at it in real life, you will see that he actually painted this picture over another painting and in real life you can see the other painting lying beneath it and that just fascinates me and I love to bring people to go and see it. What is it like to be one of the original club kids in 2013? One of the originals? Well I could take that two way as a compliment that I'm an original or as I could take that as one of the originals, that I'm the oldest one out there? Which way should I take that question, bitch? <laughs> Either way, it's always a compliment. I have to tell you, my feet still don't hurt, so I'm still going. Hi, Xander. I'm a chef. I would like to know, what is your favorite thing to eat? Pussy! <laughs> Let me clarify on that. It's not kitty cats, okay? <laughs> wow! Hi Xander, I'm 
Colin. Uh, at Vital Voice, we're all about the tea. So, what's your most embarrassing moment? Liza! Hi, Xander. I'm curious how your look has evolved over the years, and I'm expecting to see some booger pictures. Well, I have answered this before, so I'll answer it again quickly. You know, back then, 29... <coughs> plus years ago, you couldn't do what I'm doing today because it was not acceptable and you would have been murdered for it. So here's a couple shots of way back when, and you know what I evolved to now. Booger pictures? Me? Booger pictures? Well, okay, since you asked for booger pictures, here you go. Be careful what you ask for, dear. <laughs> Hi, Xander. You travel all over the country. What's the strangest place you've had to change clothes? A meat locker. Lady Gaga needed her ribeye flipped over. Mm. <laughs> Hi, Xander. I had a question for you. So how do you feel about felching? in this to get through that question. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you may be the prettiest little thing, but that was just disgusting. Oh. oh. I think I just answered your question, didn't I? About... Oh. Please. I know you got a couple more questions, but I sure hope they're not like that one. Oh, gosh. All right, well, I had another question. If you could hook up with anybody on Vital Voice, who would it be and why? Well, dear, from the staff that I met there, I would have to say that Denny, he's adorable and he's a great interviewer. Love the interview he did with me for your website. But he's a little young. Mikey... Mikey, very stylish, and he's a chef. He could feed me. <laughs> Love that. Colin, well, Colin, he's got that swagger. He's got that sweet disposition about him that I just love. Now, Jimmy, he's got a great smile. You all know that, too. Boy's got a great smile. But I'm afraid I would break his teeth, so I'd have to let him go. You, sweetheart, <laughs> you got boobs. <laughs> Do you know what's fun I can have with boobs? <laughs> but, I'm not a fool. If I'm going to hook up with anybody, it's going to be the boss. Hello? <laughs> Besides, I think you all caught me checking out his sweet little ass when he was looking out the window when we were doing these videos, weren't you? <laughs> Alright, another question. If you were in a bitch fight, what would be your first go-to move? My go-to move? It's one word. Security! I have two black lesbian guards. Bitch, you don't fuck with my security. <laughs> That's my go-to move. <laughs> Try and fuck with that, won't you? Okay. Hi, Xander. I'm Jimmy. If you could share the stage with one person, living or dead, who would it be and why? I've shared the stage with many people. Not just in the gay community, but in the music community as well, the rock community particularly. I guess for the same reason that I was on those stages, would be just to revel in their greatness. One of them would be, here comes gay cliche, Judy Garland. I would love to be on a stage with Judy Garland, just so I could just soak in artistry, her greatness, just steps away from her. Another question. 
What's your favorite part about coming back to St. Louis? My favorite part of coming back is seeing the arch. Because once I see that arch, I know I'm home. I love the people in St. Louis because they're so nice. They really are. And I know those of you that live in St. Louis don't see this, but if you're not there for a while and you come back, you really see it and appreciate it. But I do have to say my favorite thing about coming back to St. Louis is seeing that arch. Hi Xander, I want to know who's your favorite Vital Voice cover star and why? <laughs> Well, this one, of course. You mean that's not a cover? <laughs> Bitch, it fucking should be. Xander, if you had to choose between sex and glitter, which would you choose and why? Um, hello? I thought glitter was sex and sex was glitter. Is there really a fucking difference there? I found this in my boss's office. What is this thing for anyway? Your boss is a little older. Um, is he a little Viagra older? You know, Viagra lasts for four hours, so maybe he needs to keep up his arm strength to last those four hours? It's only a guess! <laughs> Alexander, I'm Darren, and I want to know, what is your most interesting and obscure sexual encounter you've had? It's impossible for me to answer that question, because I've never had sex. I'm still a virgin, and it's terrible. Please, please, because I'm a virgin. Hi, Xander. I want to know, what's your favorite type of lube? This one's easy. <laughs> there you go. Hey Xander, do you have one of these? <laughs> the answer is no, because I don't have one of those. <coughs> you do? <laughs> Maybe I'll rethink my answer about fucking the boss, huh? <laughs> Wrong kind of pussy there. <laughs> Sander, do you have a favorite porn star? I don't watch porn. So, I can't name a single porn star. I'd rather do the same thing instead of watching it. And I can't wait to do it because I stated before, I'm still a virgin. I got three bridges to sell you, too. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me again. I hope to see you next time. Until then, you have fun, and you get home safe. Cheers, everybody. Thank you, and good night.